You just opened your think blocks for the first time and are excited to use them. But how do you get started? Here are some tips that will help. First, don't think of them as blocks. Think of them as ideas. When you write on the blocks, write only one idea on each block to keep your thinking clear. We write on the blocks to distinguish between ideas. If you write more than one thing on a block, you may miss out on an important relationship between those ideas. For example, if there is a relationship between my sister and me, we are siblings. Or you may not notice the part-whole structure of your system of ideas. In this example, a family is made up of several parts. Note that you can also draw pictures, symbols, or words on your think blocks depending on your needs. If you want to use stickers with think blocks, use think tiles instead to keep your think blocks clean. Think tiles are magnetic too and were made for stickers. Another option is to write on think tiles with a permanent marker. Make tiles to use over and over. It is very difficult to write on the small blocks, but there are several ways to use them. Use them as a placeholder when talking about ideas. You can use them to demonstrate the parts of any idea. When students talk about abstract concepts, it's helpful just to have a concrete object in front of them. Like think blocks of any size, you can use the small blocks to show the relationship between two ideas. Zoom in on a small block to explore that system of ideas. Think blocks are fractal. They have the same shape and features across all sizes. So you can use a large block to represent a small one. Students can construct an elaborate network of ideas and then shrink it back down into one small block and place it in its context. Use the small blocks to count. They're especially handy when working on math skills. Use small blocks to suggest larger numbers or a ratio. In this example, students are comparing the population of their town with a larger city nearby. The city has five times the number of people as their town. They're using the small blocks to represent this ratio. Use small blocks to create a list. One easy way to do this is to stick the small block on a whiteboard and write its label on the whiteboard. Think blocks are magnetic and are therefore the perfect way to demonstrate the relationship between ideas. Because of the polarity of the magnets, some sides stick together more easily than others. Roll the blocks together, rotating them until you find sides that snap together. When making relationships, it's easier to build the structure of an idea first and then write on the blocks. With these tips in mind, start using your think blocks now. Incorporate them into existing lessons. Check out our Thinkopedia for activity videos. Share your ideas on a bulletin board of ThinkBlocks users. Contact us for more ideas. ThinkBlocks teach essential patterns of thinking, helping your students succeed in school and in life.